The Easter season is a time of joy, but the entire life of a Christian should be one of joy, even in the midst of trials and suffering, because joy is deeper than the absence of pain, deeper than the presence of pleasure. The French philosopher Leon Blois once wrote, joy is the infallible sign of God's presence. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and several years ago, Cardinal Timothy Dolan wrote a book entitled Called to be Holy, in which he had a chapter on joy. He said that there are four threats to joy. We could examine ourselves today asking whether we experience these threats, because if we do, then we really need to go deeper into the hope and joy that the resurrection of Christ gives to every one of his followers. What are those threats to joy? The first is self-pity, where, as Cardinal Dolan puts it, I become the center of my thought and energy instead of Jesus and the people he places in my path. Where we are focused on ourselves, we won't find joy. The second threat is worry, which, like self-pity, turns the focus inward and steals any possibility of joy. The third threat to joy is the belief that happiness depends on something outside of myself, that another person or an achievement or a possession will make me happy. No, joy is not something we get from outside, but something within, something that comes from the knowledge that we are beloved children of God, who has given us the Holy Spirit to fill us with joy. Final threat to joy, according to Cardinal Dolan, is complaining, which seems to follow from the other three. When we are focused on ourselves and think that if we only had it as good as others and complain that we don't, lose joy. Joy comes from gratitude and praise, recognizing the wonderful gift that God has given us in his son Jesus, who blazed the trail for us to follow into heaven.